poodle with a difference. A mystery ingredient which will make it unlike anything you've had before. And the mystery ingredient is... Australian blue cheese. Now we all know that cheese and apple work very well together. But the simple addition of a small amount of that blue cheese to our tasty dish will have your family and friends gasping with surprise. Now, apples can be any variety, but if you get a chance to get Pink Lady or Sundowner, they're from Western Australia, these are absolutely superb and are available pretty much anywhere in Australia. And to other ingredients. I use commercial phyllo pastry. It's a flaky pastry, which is quite impossible to make. I don't know how they do it. A few breadcrumbs. A little sugar, you won't need much because the apples will be sweet. Some lemon juice, a little lemon rind, some ground cinnamon. And I use as optional extra some sultanas and almonds. And also a little light olive oil to brush onto the pastry. And so to the method. We take our apples, two or three will do, and we chop them into fine pieces. As quickly as we can, we put the apple into a bowl. And cover with lemon juice to stop them, the apple pieces discoloring. And we add our other ingredients. The lemon rind, breadcrumbs, sugar, sultanas, the almonds, and a little bit of cinnamon, about half a teaspoon, and stir up well. It's almost as good as a salad on its own. That's that. A lot of people worry about using phyllo pastry because it's such a sensitive pastry. It can't get too wet or too dry. The answer is one of these. A tea towel, wet it, and then shake out the excess moisture, so it's just damp, and put that down under the pastry sheets. From here we work quickly to take out the pastry, to take out about five or six sheets, that's all we'll need. The others get rolled up and put back into the container. Then we just simply brush on our light olive oil, and you just need a smear across there, hardly anything at all. And then we turn over the first one, onto the next, and do the same again. Just a smear, not even covering all the sheet. And we keep doing this until we get down to the bottom one. The oil keeps the pastry separate, making it puff up once it's in the hot oven. Now, we add our filling. Putting it on the near side of the pastry, and allowing space all round to fold over in a moment. And we make sure we don't overload, because it'll burst out in the oven. That's it. And finally, our pièce de résistance, the blue vein cheese. And we just crumble a few fragments. That's all it takes. A few crumbles like this, quite enough to make the big difference. And now we parcel it up simply folding up the ends, pull the ends in, and then take the bottom and roll it over until it finishes up on its seam. The last brush of oil on the baking tray, just a slight amount. On it goes, and it's into the oven about 190 or 200 degrees, and it is likely to announce when it's ready. The aromas will fill the kitchen. And the perfect complement to apple and blue cheese strudel is an Australian Noble Semillon, small glass. Bon appétit.